guys today uh, we have another video uh, it's my first unboxing video and we are going to be unboxing a hat product with and the hat product is a World War One Anzac infantry I am also going to tell you about the details of the Anzac World War One infantry as well as what weapons they may carry This is the box of the Anzac infantry. Uh, it's there's 48 figures to a 1 to 70 seconds scale, and the picture is rather relevant to give you an idea of how to paint it. Now let's take a look at the figures. The figures are unpainted uh, plastic. They are not super flexible, but at the same time they are not super hard. Now let's see the size of the measurement it measures around 2.7 centimeters it, to this it's around the size of a two pence coin and it is also uh, much more detailed than the normal toys you would get in Poundland and other shops. It is smaller and much more expensive as well. Anzac soldiers went to war wearing almost 30 kilograms of clothes, weapons, tools and war kit. They also had a slouch hat or a, a, or a cap many... Who, where many Anzac soldiers preferred to wear the cap instead of the slouch hat, the man at Gallipoli War had very little head protection. They wore a loose fitting khaki woolen jacket with four baggy pockets, breeches, braces, shirts, ankle boots, socks made from wool or cotton. Now let's have a look at the military history book, which I used to do a lot of the researching on this. The uniform it looks something like, where is it, where is it, where is it, mm, this. It's a cross between a American uniform and a British uniform, as you can see on the model. So, the weapons Sansex could have had are the Enfield pattern, 1913, made in UK and is around 4 kilogram, Lee Enfield Mark I, made in, in UK, and Lee Enfield Mark III, made in UK. Uh, you can see the weapons on these on the soldiers. Uh, and uh, the weapons are very similar, so it's very hard to tell uh, which one these particular Anzac soldiers are carrying. The officers carry the Scott and Webley Mark VI, which won an award for the most rugged. reliability. They also had stick grenades, which were very popular in this period. I hope you enjoyed my first unboxing video of World War One Anzac infantry. I will do other ones about World War One Anzac heavy infantry, and then the opposing side in the Battle of Gallipoli, which is the battle these troopers were from. Uh, see you next time. Goodbye.